Are you there? Somebody saying, if uh, CP is refuting Islam, why Islam is growing? I don't know what the growing mean. As I saw in the Jazeera TV, they were crying that 6 million Muslims leaving Islam a year. I saw a video of Mufti Mink, Muhammad Hijab, and other Abdul saying that the fastest demolished shrinking religion is Islam. So I don't know Muslim, they say things, but facts is the opposite. You Muslim, you count everybody Muslim. Anybody. Everyone in Iran is a Muslim. But we ask you, is Shia Muslim? You say no. <laughs> is Druze Muslims? You say no. And how many Muslims live in Islam? You know, you know, you know the thing. Uh, <clears throat> if I am you, I will join here and I will show everybody how Islam is growing. I know. What I saw is a different story. Let me see. Uh, let me see if I can find better better video. This uh, this uh, this video here sound is not good. Give me a second. I will show you a video of Muhammad Hijab and. Uh, Let us see this one maybe. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Hey, Muhammad Noor, your voice is coming out and on. All right, I think this one is good. Let us use this video and see if Islam is a growing or not. Those your potatoes, the one, the one supposedly is famous between you Muslims. Look what they are saying. This is not my Christian prince. Don't tell me I paid them to say that. Islam is the is the large religion of defectors. Was the sound good, guys? Was the sound good? For some reason, the sound yes. is not coming clear. Let us see here if I tie it. I don't know why the mixer here is not good. Okay, hold on, give me a second. Property. Okay, let us see default. Maybe that will make it work. No, this is not working. Let us see this one. That doesn't mean the Yeah, for some reason my software is not linking the audio. Let me try again. Uh, yeah, for some reason the audio is not coming through. Um, let me change the setting. Give me a second. This Muhammad Noor, he just make noise like a, a person who is in the triad seat. Get out of here. Uh, give me a second just to change the sound set, uh, setting. Maybe that will help. All right. Bro, defectors is more. Okay, now the sound is better, but uh, I cannot hear. Maybe now, let us see now. The number of those yes. enter, but from all other... Okay, now it's, good. now it's better, right? Now you will hear it better. All right, let us hear from the beginning. Where is the guy he said to me, Islam is growing? Listen carefully. As much as we say Islam is the fastest growing religion in the globe, I want to tell you something that I've studied. Mm -hmm. I've studied. Mm -hmm. okay. It's the religion with the large number of defectors, the largest number of defectors. Mm -hmm. Guys, does it say the largest number of defectors? Islam is the lar largest rel religion of defectors. 
even lower voice now? Seriously? Really? That's weird. Okay, hold on. Why is that? I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about now? No. I'm not sure why. I mean, those stupid softwares, they should supposedly capture every sound coming from the computer and it's still coming the same no matter what I do. Let us try again. I can tell you, that doesn't mean the number of detectors is more than the number of measurements, but for all others, those who are living, you don't know, people are living in your home, with the second, third generation, they don't care about Islam, but their name is Muslim, and you think they're Muslim because they're in the situation. I did a little survey of Salah and Hindus, and I found out that they're Muslim, and they're in the situation. I did a little survey of Salah and Hindus. So do you see it, Muslims? The largest religion of the factors is Islam, and those are your, you know. This is your sheikhs. Are they lying? So it looks like Christian Prince work is working so good. Did you see those girls, the Muslim girls from Afghanistan? They are going in the street to free Palestine, and almost I can almost I can see her vagina. I can search for the video. She have surgery for her lips; they become like a frog. You know, like once I was in a train. You know, there's a there's a woman in front of me. I changed my location. So the guy, he, uh, the guy, the ticket guy, he came and he says, uh, this is not your place. You should not change your place. I said, well, the train is empty. You know, he said, your place is there. And yeah, I know I was there. There was a woman in front of me. She had a surgery for everything in her body. Her boobs, boing, boing. Her mouth is like a duck. You know, it's like, you know. So I said to him, I know I was next to the duck. But <laughs> I don't want to sit there. <laughs> so, a Muslim girls in the USA, go and see what they do. Just go and see what they do. You bring them from Afghanistan. Just yesterday they came from Afghanistan. She was wearing the burqa. Nobody can see her face. Second day she is naked in the street. Oh boy. <clears throat> yeah, and then the guy, he said to me, sorry, you have to go there. So what's wrong with you? The train is empty. If somebody came, I will move. Nobody. The train is empty. Why I want to, you want me to make me sit in the front of this dock? You know? <laughs> anyway. Do we have any Muhammadan? Hey, Muslims. If you defend Prophet of Allah, you will get a lot of dogs. Ding, ding, dogs. You name it. Hmm? Any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan? Yeah, by the way, this is a prophet, uh, David, uh, Suleiman, sorry. Allah, he taught him the language of the birds. So Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds. And then the Abdul Suleiman, he was speaking to the ant. Do you Muslim consider ants are birds? The opening, when the Muslim occupy your Come city, on, Tiffy, they call why it. Why you gotta do that, man? Why you gotta do that? My friend, you have nothing to say. Do you want to say anything? I, do, I have too much to say. I'm focused on Palestine. So just hold on. Okay, Let's... go ahead. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so my thing is um, <clears throat> like you're very black and white with the, you know, but 
didn't Jesus say that the children are innocent, right? So, like, if some kids are dancing at a wedding, do they really understand that a wedding's happening? So, but you're saying there's absolute. I'm asking you. I don't know. I don't want to. Speak I'm listening. I'm listening. Finish. Go ahead. Is there absolutely zero innocence in Palestine? That's it. Khalas? All right. Are we? Are, are you done? Yeah, it's a question. So, so now. I am a member of Hamas. I go shoot at my enemy. I rape their women. I kidnap their children. And I come back. And then I hide in their houses. It is the fault of Hamas and the Palestinian who they allow them to hide under their houses or the fault of the enemy who came after their children seeking, refreeing them and punishing the criminals. So let us say, I am now, uh, let us say, uh, wanted by the FBI. The FBI, they knew that this guy is a very, very dangerous criminal. Inside the house, there is children. Do you think the FBI, they will not shoot at me when I shoot at them? Because I have children in the house? Of course, of course. Um, so, but like so why we want to blame, you know, you are the one saying I see black and white. In fact, it's you. You see only that the Israeli are coming and now, because there's a children's, oh, the Israeli, they cannot do anything. Well, this is mean that, oh, what we need to do? We go, we kill them, we kidnap them, we rape them, and we put a bunch of women and children in front of them, and we make a party. No, no, no. it's not right. I, you know, first of all, I'm sure you maybe you remember me. I left Islam because of you. I'm Christian. I'm Palestinian. I had my brother call in. I'm trying to refresh your memory. My friend, no I problem. Called. But I'm, I'm using your logic. Your logic is wrong. Because in wartime, in wartime, we have to blame the one who caused the problem. So if yeah. Hamas, if Hamas are brave, why they don't fight? Okay, they want to make a tunnel, make it out of the city. Why you make it underneath of hospital? Why you make it even the headquarters under the hospital? So if I want to blame the Israeli, the Israeli are going after their enemy. Okay, what is the way to find where we can find the enemy? We have to go in the ground. We have to shoot. It is a war. So now, when Hamas, they came to Israel, and there is nobody holding guns, women in their houses, they raid them. What does this have to do with the fighting freedoms? What does this have to do with fighting for occupation? Well, Hamas, okay, Hamas are scumbags. We know that. But no, October no, no, so my friend. You have, you, you said you are a Palestinian, correct? Yeah. Okay, but is it true that uh, maybe 90% or maybe 99% of the Palestinians, they were shouting with the greeting of happiness and victory for what Hamas did? I mean, I don't know how you measure that, but I know I saw them when they were spitting on Shani Luke, rest in peace. Her um, her body, that was very disgusting. It made me sick to my stomach. When the children, you oh. said to me, when the children dying, dancing in the wedding, did you ask yourself, where is the parents and why the parents don't say to them, don't dance? That's my point. That's my point. The parents are to blame. Okay. So, no, 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 no. You see, the parents is encouraging the kids to dance for the death of those poor people, that means those children too, when they grow, they will be Hamas again. So nothing changed. If they are children or not, it doesn't make any difference anymore because this is the future Hamas. Hamas, a children today, he is seven years old. Seven years after, he is a member of Hamas carrying a gun. I can show you Hamas members, they are at the age of 10 carrying guns. So now right. we say they are children. I saw, I saw, I, I made a video a long time ago. I don't know if you saw it. It's called The Beauty of Hamas and the Ugliness of Israel. Overnight, I have hundreds of thousands of you. And then YouTube terminate my channel totally for that videos. Two videos I made. In the beginning, they promote it because I thought they thought I'm speaking against Israel because the title sounds like it. The Beauty of Hamas, the Ugliness of Israel. But in the video I showed, how the Palestinian, and you are a Palestinian, they send a bomb inside an infant diaper, which means they yeah, explode They explode their own infant. They're crazy. They, they're crazy. No, 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 they are not crazy. This is Islam, my friend. This is Islam. 
They send the, the they send the child. He is nine years old. They make him wear a vest and they ask. They tell him go enter. He arrive between the Jews and boom. So if now the Israelis shoot at the nine years old kid or the infant, it's a war crime. But it's all if, the war, war but crime. if nine years old kill all the Jews, uh, he is misleaded. You know, he's a child. He don't know what's going on. You know, so. What's happening is we give excuse for the crime and the organized crime, and then we go and we take to court, international court, the victims. Israel would draw from Gaza for the last 20 years. In the day of October 7, more than 150,000 Palestinian work in Israel. 150,000. How they are suffocating them if they are giving them jobs and they are well, trusting well, them to go inside you know their territory in fact if you ask me i say to you if i am in charge of israel i will never allow a single one of them to enter it israeli are stupid they are so much terrorists they don't understand until now that their enemy is full of hatred and it doesn't matter how good you are to them they will never change count well, my words come a hundred years from now, a hundred years from now, the conflict okay. will never finish because the Israelis are stupid. Right, because, that's why I'm a Christian, because it says that God's going to save the Jews in the end. And, you know, I, I'm Christian now, so it didn't make me more, e it made me better. It made me, because I love everybody, right? And it doesn't matter if those are my people. It could be Chinese people getting killed. I care about everybody. Um, I tell my family about Christ, you know. But the whole thing about the, I was never told I looked Arabian my whole life. I was always told I looked Jewish. I did a genetic testing to just kind of switch the subject. I only have 33% peninsula, peninsula Arabian blood. But don't you know, or do you not believe the genetic tests that say that we do come from the Bronze Age Canaanites, or do you, do you reject that? My friend, I believe all of those are fictions, and they are even stupid, because... The whole genetic is a is a is a stupid idea. Uh, in, in, like even if you do test about you and your dad, you will find they say to you it is high possible you are from your dad. They can't even confirm that, even if it's just for your dad. So how we can confirm for with people who never exist no more? I mean this is madness. How I can confirm that I am from the Pharaoh, if the Pharaoh is not there? How I can confirm <laughs> that I have the DNA of a lion? was exist in the Babylon if that lion, Mr. Cat, died a billion years ago. So the DNA mm -hmm. is a joke. It's a joke. It's not true. It's a fiction. Same time, all of us, we are children of Adam and Eve. So based on this, a person, he is from uh, Zimbabwe. He's my brother. What does have to do with this DNA? This no, is the no, land of the Jews. This is the land of the Jews, and they should have their land. It doesn't matter because they should. They should. because everybody blood is mixed. Nobody have a pure blood. Nobody. No, so what's the solution, though? Do we, the, the, I'm asking for your. You know, I'm not asking for I, more. You know, a solution is so the num hell, number one. Number one solution is a Christ, but we know of course, that. Of course, of course. But we know that the criminals. They will not have such a solution unless they believe. The second solution is to fight the criminals. And Hamas yeah, but, but, and the likeness of Hamas and all the terrorists are criminals. We have to fight yeah. the hate of Islam. We have to demolish Islam. Hamas has exist because of Islam. Of course, of course. Well, Qaeda, well, 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 ISIS, all of those hatred terrorists exist because... So the major problem is not Israel. The major problem is Islam. We have to demolish Islam. Right, but even people from Nablus, it's it's known that they do descend from the Samaritans. Let's just focus on that, right? That's known, like that's that's a fact, right? Because they always say, you know, oh, like even the Arabs would say, oh, the people they look so different or whatever. Who who knows or who cares? We can. But you said yourself that some, and I've seen, like I have a Palestinian friend. He looks Pakistani. I swear to God, me, I'm told I look Jewish or Polish or Russian. I don't know. We all look so different, so doesn't doesn't that prove? Because they say that the Palestinians and the Jews 
along with the Lebanese and the Syrians. My friend, those and, are not, you are not a Palestinian. Palestinians are not exist no more. But but you said but you said that God commanded them to kill the Palestinians. But you yourself said that we weren't from no, no, there. No, no, so no. I am I am using the logic of the Muhammadan. The Muhammadan, okay. the Muhammadan. When they say why they do this, I show them their hypocrisy. It is their God command. Their command. Their God never mentioned the word Palestine. Never. Not right. a single. Not a single Muslim book. Not even their prophet. So. The reason the, the reason it's not mentioned because there's no Palestinians. There's no Palestinians. You know, when a Christ he spoke in the Bible, he is not speaking to those who you call Arab today. Those are Arab. Jesus either spoke to the Roman or the Aramaic or to the Israeli. Simple as that. But we don't find right. we don't find those Arab in any story. Like, who is the Arab guy who came to Jesus and Jesus spoke to him? None. Why? There's no Arab? <laughs> yeah, because there's no Arab. The first time Arab came to this territory, as you see the Muslim themselves, they confirmed that. It is when Omar occupied Jerusalem and the coward Muslim, they call it opening. You see the hypocrisy of the Mohammedan? When they conquer your land and strip you from your land, they call it opening. They don't call it occupation. Like as an but example, when the Muslim they took Constantinia, Constantinople, they don't call it occupation, they call it opening. So those filthy, this filthy religion, when they steal your land, they call it opening because they have the right to the key for every land. They can rape your woman, you can take your land, and then they, they hijack the land. So they come to Jerusalem, they come to Israel, they hijack the land. They took the name of the Palestinian. They are not Palestinian. They have nothing to do with the Palestinians. And now they claim that they are the one who own the land and they are the victims. When in reality, it is the opposite. They are occupation. Go and read the Pact of Omar. This is the first time a single Arab person entered the land. Right, right, right. You know, because they mean Jews themselves were saying, I watched a YouTube video, whatever, it's two guys, they're Jewish, and they're speaking how that they you know that the palestinians do likely descend from jews and they mix because if we have north african blood right and we have 30 percent egyptian blood and we have arabian blood and it shows that we're indigenous from the levant i just think it's interesting i mean it doesn't matter if you agree or not but this is a little irrelevant i just wanted to challenge you on that because when they say that they're out of it's uh, the term Arabi, as you know, it's a it's a linguistic term and a cultural term. So it doesn't mean that they're hundred percent genetic Arabian, no, no, right? For them, no, no, for them, they believe that they are truly Arab, uh, uh, because you know this is what this is what they are. You see, Islam is the problem. A Muslim, he think, if he is an Arab, he is a noble person. He's like Muhammad. This is why you see a scumbag. He is a, from Indonesia. He claimed that he is descendant from Muhammad. Suddenly, You're Indonesian. Right. Right. Son, suddenly, I mean, he is an Asian. He's Indonesian. How in the world this guy descended from Muhammad? Looked like Muhammad penis was so long. I believe it. He's a prophet. <laughs> so, it's it's a, it's a scam. So now, if you are a person and you are an Aramaic or you are a Turkish, which one you prefer to say, an Arab or a Turkish to Arab? Because Arab will make you from the same people of Muhammad. If you go right now to those poor countries like Bangladesh, Indonesia, India, Muslims, you go to them and you say, I'm an Arab, you will see they make you like a king. They treat you like a king. If you say you are from Mecca, man, they worship you. This is why Osama bin Laden become a leader. He have two things, or three things actually. He is an Arab, he is from the land, and he is very rich. What is missing? Nothing. He become a but, king. But don't but don't you think that, I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm more with the brother Sam Shamoon on this, but I think both sides are doing wrong, right? So when you have when you have them going, when you have IDF twisting little girls' arms and breaking their arms, and when you have the IDF well, when this, in, Why this little girl <laughs> is, is a... Why this little... My friend, there's nothing that's called little girl. If the little girl, if the little girl is throwing a rock at my head, I will not consider her a little girl. I will consider her a threat. Because right, a rock, right, right. Okay. David, David, he killed a king by a rock, and he was a teenager. 
You're right that some have died from the rot. I, I don't think I'm not yeah. condoning it. I just so, I condemn so October the, 7th. So this is what that, this is what the media show you that the Israeli. Shouldn't you ask yourself if the Israeli are bad? Why don't they shoot everybody and finish it? Why they are holding her from the arm? I don't. I, I don't think they're all bad, brother. But I think you know when the idea for going to the friend, Aksa Mosque, if we go right now, old, if we are a bunch of Christians, old, listen, listen, man, that's not okay. That's not Christ-like. If I'm you a follower, listen, you I'm not are a follower. Of you left Israel. Islam, my friend. You left so, Islam. Oh. You left Islam. So if me and you, yeah, we go yeah, now, yeah, we go now. Oh, listen, we go now, me and you, to the territory where the Palestinian Muslims are located, and then we throw rocks at them, and we say we are Christian. We want a church. We want our church back. What will happen to us in two seconds? How can I end good? They will kill us. <laughs> They'll kill us. Yeah, I, I, okay. I don't like Hamas at so, all. No, I no, no, Hamas. Okay. All of them. All of them are the same. This guy Abbas, Abbas, the 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 in the West Bank, he was the first one. Go check it out. The first one who sent a letter to Erdogan, congratulating him for taking our church, Hagia Sophia. And converting it to a mosque all of them are the same so imagine okay what if we took the holy aqsa and we make it a church is abbas going to send us a graduation letter for taking it so they are hypocrite all of them they are criminals they teach their okay. children's hatred and then right, when right. you say children are dancing what they understand no they understand they understand I was a kid. I didn't understand. Who said kids don't understand? They do. Yeah, they're taught. They're taught hatred. You're right. So, but we were we were there. It doesn't matter where we came from. Rome. It doesn't matter where we came from. We're there. So, what's the solution? Oh, Eddie, I admit it's the Jewish land. Do we split it in no half? Do we learn You're how saying, to get along? This is this is will not finish unless a, a war happened, and the war have to be massive, and one lose and one win. This will never okay. end. This I'm is, glad my yeah. I'm yeah sorry, go ahead. Because they are fueled by religion. It's not about the land. It doesn't matter who owns the land. The Muslim they never even con uh, like uh, control their land. As long as it's a Muslim control their land, they are okay. If Erdogan now occupy Jerusalem, the Muslims would dance in the street. But all of us we knew how the Turkish used to kidnap Arab women, rape them, torture them, take their money. They even cut the whole trees in, this, in those countries. Syria used to be like heaven. The Turkish, they cut all the trees just to burn it, just to use it as a fuel. They did not, yes, cut, they did not cut one tree from the land belong to them. They cut all the trees from Iraq, from Syria, from Jordan. Jordan became a desert because of them. So nobody complained. Why? Because they are Muslims. When the Muslims, Albanian and non-Albanian Muslims, who ruled Egypt for more than a thousand and two hundred years? Not a single Muslim in Egypt complain because they are Muslims. It's all about religion. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And um, I'm, I'm sure you remember me now, but I'm I'm the, I'm the one that had those dreams and so. So I'm like, you know, I was trying to talk to you for so long, and you kicked me off. And you're, you took you. No, no. Me, so I, you know, I I thought I, I thought you have nothing to say. You know, I asked you it's what okay, you want to say, but uh, it's okay. I don't mean it, you okay. see, because I, I love you, man. I just thought you're one of the main reasons I left. Of course, it was for the Lord, but I just bought your book. I'm excited to read it. I watch you a lot. I really credit you as one of the main reasons why I left Islam. Um, and I pray for you all the time. And, you know, I, I like that you stand on what you believe. I, I just I just wish it wouldn't have to be going on. I'm glad my family left. I don't want to visit there. I don't want to go there. I don't want to ever visit the Middle East. I don't want to go there, especially not now as a Christian. I never even wanted to go as a Muslim because it's crazy. They're violent. They're crazy people over there. You know, it's not safe. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I have much more to say. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I respect you and always uh, sending you love and prayers, you know. Because you really opened my eyes, so I just want to thank you again. Um, yeah. All right, my friend. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm happy for you. Did your brother leave Islam yet or not yet? Uh, you do remember me now. Yeah, I was just going to mention that. There, um, no, yeah, I remember you, know, you, you brought me your brother to talk to me, and he yeah. was... Uh, yeah, but what happened to him? There's any update? Uh, 
Wait, wait, is there a what? If there's any update, he's still a Muslim? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's still a Muslim. Um, I've had my own uncle say that the dreams I had are from the devil. Of course they say that. Um, yeah, I'm, I try to tell him all the time. Like I told him the other day, like, you just have to seek and he'll show you. Um, I can only do so much, but no, he, he's still Muslim. Um, I've had people say very bad things to me, like, um, you know, that I had my own uncle tell me that he, my own uncle told me that if G, I said, what if Jesus is God? He said, if Jesus is God, I would rather go to hell. So I forgive them. This is what Islam makes them. It's not that Islam makes you like this. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I so yeah, he's still Muslim, and I try to tell people, and I, it doesn't get lonely because I have a lot of you know all the discord, and all a lot of my friends are Christians. But um, I wish that the people I love the most, my family, could open their eyes. But I just think a lot of people just don't care as much about religion, you know. Like I really did, and like people told me, why do you read so much about religion? Why why are you going so deep into it? I'm like, if I believe Islam, though, I want to know everything about it, and be able to defend it. And I guess the last thing I'll say, I, I thought it was very funny that I was looking at to you, all you Christians, like, oh, they're just making stuff up about Islam. They're just making stuff up. And, and I remember because I called you a couple of times to defend Islam. And then I saw every single thing you guys were talking about was from the Quran and the Hadith. So I think if somebody's sincere that, uh, not I think, I know Jesus will show them. And I think... Um, Jesus has a very special place uh, in his heart for Muslims because he sees that they're in this demonic, filth, trash religion, and he's giving them dreams. Not not Buddhists, not Hindus, not uh, tribes in the Amazon. All millions of Muslims are dreaming of Jesus, you know, so I try to tell them that. Yeah. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for joining, and uh, you can invite your brother anytime to maybe we can help him to... <laughs>